Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Firewatch for the Sony PlayStation 4. The flapjack fire is in front of us, and uh, the situation is not looking good for many reasons around here. Things are getting crazy, paranoia, destruction, the mystery deepens, the plot thickens, what's gonna happen next, who is who, who can be trusted, you know, we're playing as Henry, but is can we trust, can us, the game player, even trust Henry, really? I don't know. And what about Delilah? Always, always in the lookout. Or, or is she? Is she in the lookout? We've never seen her. There's never been a scene. There's never been an encounter between these two. It's just walkie-talkie. When I was a kid, man, I used to love walkie-talkies. I think... I think as a kid back in like the 80s and early 90s, like walkie-talkies were more of a fun thing. I don't know. Any any uh, anyone watching younger, like uh, kind of have some fun walkie-talkie experiences? Just with technology now, internet stuff. We have Skype, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, walkie-talkies may be uh, a fun thing of the past. I mean, oh, useful item, you know, like with this kind of job, of course. They're still used, I'm sure. Anyway, hey, um, I was gonna read this, but I wanted to wait till, uh, this part right here. And here's that, uh, escape from two orcs. <laughs> I'll, uh, oh, I'll put that right there. Okay, let's read this. <clears throat> July 16th, 1989. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. I don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and a walkie-talkie and... I don't know how to describe this. I... I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attack me. They're taking notes about our conversations. We think there might be some sort of study going on, like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck, I know all this sounds insane. It is insane. I don't know how to explain any of it. Wait, is this... Have we read this one before? Delilah definitely heard someone on, a, on our walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She heard someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but... Uh, we don't want to talk anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, we read that one. I kind of realized after just starting. But uh, I'll reread it. Who cares? Site reports. No too much. Delilah lying. What's with the little note cards? Teen's note. Actually a bear. Teen's in on it? Frame me for attack? Wapiti Station. Knew they were a target? Destroying evidence? Framing us? And, uh, oh, you know what these are? These are all the notes I've collected, right? You know, like some between Ron and Dave and... Who is listening to us? Why do you have to... I mean, they're not facing outward for, like, Delilah to look at through, like, crazy insane binoculars or, you know, whatever. But, I don't know. He's just writing these little notes. Missing person. Last seen at Lake. Others missing? Teens? Hmm. Brian Goodwin. Goodwin's under surveillance, uh, too. Yeah, yeah, those, those two Goodwin dudes or whatever. I feel like I, maybe I should have listened to that stuff more. Report on Delilah. And I made sure you guys um, could read these when uh, when we initially got them. And of course, you know, these videos can be paused. You can always make sure to reread or look at whatever you want at your leisure for as long as you want. So good stuff. Ooh, there's my hat again. I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to put that on. I don't know why I just like putting that hat on. Like putting the hat on. And then there's the whiskey bottle. We can always pick that up and... Save that for later. It never seems to really... And then there's our wedding ring. 
photo with Delilah. All right, I'm gonna get to the the beeping. Here, I kind of want to just. I don't know, man. OCD. Put this down nicely. Ugh, whatever. Tracking device. Who else are they following? Wave receiver. They want it back. Who? And here's the tracking device. Crazy, right? So, I think I read all the notes here, guys. And this thing's beeping. Perhaps there's something else for us out there to uh, investigate. Uh, where... Where is it? It's, uh... Oh, no, I'm... Oh, am I carrying it? Hold on, guys. Oh, I'm carrying it. Okay, cool. Let's report about it. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. <laughs> Radio off! Man. Okay, um... This is a little unsettling, but then again, we've been unsettled for a while. I wouldn't mind hearing, however, from you guys watching, if you haven't been unsettled or unnerved or, um, you know, kind of freaking out about things at all, if you've just been, like, very, meh, you know, no biggie. I'm gonna unplug, I'm gonna char charging it up. Let's see, yeah, charged up, ready to go. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind hearing if you guys were not unsettled about things or anything like that, you know, like, oh, it wasn't, it was a big deal, eh. Okay, so. Yeah, this is, it's beeping quicker. Beeping quicker. I don't know if this is a good path, a good way to go. No, we're, this is, we're getting cold. Let's head up and then go kind of north. I think we were on the right path for a little bit. Yeah. Here, we'll go up and then we'll make a left here. Yeah. Yeah. Man. You just have to find your way around a little bit, you know? On. What am I looking for? This is it. So I'm supposed to follow the wave receiver, but where? What, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a gap in the brush. That's what it is. Dude. Dude. It's a backpack. <gasps> a key. Four, five, two. What do you think that goes to? That goes to the cave. Dude. Oh, man. Now, come on. If you guys weren't a little disturbed or freaking out before about this cave, man, this is going to make you go crazy. Shit. What? 
Ah. It was like booby trapped or something. Why? Why would there be a buzzer? Why would that? I don't even. What the hell did I even smash? Really? Something to notify. Something to notify someone that I found the package, the backpack. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? No, I'm fine, but there's a set of keys here. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like the set to the cave that went missing. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Dude, 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 dude. Yeah, Delilah, she's got, like, binoculars. She can really see... Like, everything going on at the tower, which does kind of unnerve me. Dude, we're right here. Who's... Oh, hurry up. I'm glad I found this tree. I was unaware of this tree being here. Okay, now, if a big tree like this is going to fall over, whoever's there... Is gonna be there much longer. Especially now. Not that there's a time limit. I mean, once again, remember when I said, Oh, I could stand here all day. I could go out and do my errands. and But anyway, what, whatever, dude. The point is, well, I will say, in video game time, we got back here pretty quick. How could he elude me? How could he? Is someone going to be here? I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. <gasps> Dude. Dude. Huh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Day 78. Okay, full-blown freakout mode has commenced, especially Delilah. I, I think, actually, Henry is a little more calmer. Uh, definitely, he's trying to... I mean, I suppose we can do things um, to change that. Depends on how we answer, how we play the game. But yeah, let's keep Henry a little more level-headed, if we can, if we can help it. wrong someone claiming to be henry in two forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that i knew what caused the wapiti meadow fire um so i just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what i know or that i'm an arsonist or that i'm fucking losing it furthermore i bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night so someone has evidence to back it up we need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. 
We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. The flapjack fire continues, continues to burn. Let's assume, and th this is probably the case, um, you know, both uh, Henry and Delilah have no idea what's going on. Like, crazy stuff, questions, uh, I don't understand what's going on, they're both in the dark. Yeah, that's probably the case. But, despite that, who's gonna crack? Henry? Delilah? It, it seems like Delilah's kind of losing it, gonna crack. What if she... What if she turns on Henry? I mean, I really thought they were sparking kind of a friend. There seemed to be like a friendship sparking in the, I don't know, maybe kind of a romantic kind of thing. I mean, Henry really, I mean, he's married technically or that that whole situation. He, he took, I didn't take that ring off. He took that ring off. So like, whether he's running from his problems, I mean, he definitely has been kind of running from his problems, but now, like, he's run into a whole new set of problems out here. And what is going to happen? Is this new? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, see that? July 16th, 1999. What the fuck difference a day makes? Holy hell. Now it's July. They should do that all the time, like having the paper slightly, you know, under, but you can read, like, the first line or two anyway guys new one july 17th 1989 i didn't write down more later the sun's not up yet i'm exhausted at daylight i'm going to head down into the cave in the canyon and see what i can find i don't know what else to say really i know i should probably take extensive notes and pictures i'm adding that part yesterday i had the thought that maybe i'm not quite right in the head it just came across me for a moment but i'd be lying if i said i didn't think it for a second i'm going down into the cave and i just hope i can find something i don't care what happens as long as i find something i wonder what will happen if i don't make it back i'm obviously a little worried about that and i'm not trying to act tough but what would actually happen? It's hard to imagine at this stage anybody would notice. Susan, my sister out in Maryland, would eventually get a call, and I'd feel bad for not seeing her and the kids for so long. But Julia, it's almost been six months now, and maybe it wouldn't even register. Maybe I don't even register. I just felt a little panic there. What if I do register and I just left her alone? Yeah. I don't know. Once again, guys, like, let's say you're this Henry guy and, well, of course, you're, you're gonna make... You're you. You can't be someone else. Not really. But let's just say... You're you, but you wound up in this situation. Like, you got on the helicopter that took you here and for the summer job and all that stuff. And then, like, it, after that, it's, like, all you, you know? Would you... How would you inter interact with uh, Delilah? What would you do? Would you be so brave? Like, all right, let's go to this cave. Would you just, like, pick up your map and your compass and be like, all right, well, it's going to be a long hike, but I'm going to go north. Like, north civilization is north or whatever, and just keep on walking and walking and walking. I do not need this. This this fire, and is is she a friend? Could she still be a friend or a romantic, uh, a, a new romantic uh, partner? Uh, maybe she's not trustworthy. There's other people out here. That fire spreading. Could this fire that's spreading become even a worse fire soon? We gotta get out of here. Like, or would you just explore the cave? Yeah, let's explore this cave. Uh, I don't know. Man, what would I do in this situation if I was just here right now? I don't, I don't know. You can't really, um, let's see, like kind of northeastern here. 
you can't really answer these questions. Around this tree, maybe? So, we're going down to that cave. We were there, like, early on in my, like, part two or one or something early. Can we yeah, jump down? Here we go! Cool. When that thing beeps, that tracking device, that really... Oof. Freaks me out. And down here, I believe. Uh, yeah, all the way to the bottom, I believe. Alright. We'll get there. Yeah, it's getting dusty. It's getting cloudy. Ah, oh, man. Th this game's been so beautiful, you know? So beautiful. It's just, uh... Man, I don't... I don't want to get all ugly and fiery and you know what I mean. Yeah, cave four five two. And we'll rappel down right here. Hey, you You didn't actually make that call, right? To to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Uh, sounds like someone's thinking, sounds like someone's thinking about number one. Protecting number one, all about number one. Delilah's thinking about her own ass a little too much here. I, I, I'm questioning her loyalty, her friendship to Henry a little bit, a little bit more and more as we continue to go on. Henry's just all like, "All right, let's just relax. Let's have a clear head. Let's think this out. We have to stick together. Stick to the story. You know, I, you know, I'm hello. My name is Henry, and I know I have done nothing wrong. I have committed no crime. Boppity bop, and so forth. Like." All Henry can know is himself and his decisions. But then again, even Henry's Henry has questioned himself, like, in crazy ways. Like, am I going crazy here? Little bit. Guys, this is it. This is the cave. The gate to the cave, 452. Really necessarily need the light. Maybe later. Oh God! Don't tell me there's gonna be monsters in here. No, I don't think we're gonna be. I don't think this game's gonna become that. No windigos are gonna pop out. What the hell, dude? What, dude? Did someone just, dude? What? You gotta be kidding me! Someone was just here and locked me in. Find a way out of the cave? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! I can't get any damn reception. Well... Why would I be locked in? Why would, why would they, why would this person want to lock me in here? Jesus, this is a big cave. Can't jump down. Uh, okay. Who here is getting a little disoriented? Who here has a little bit of, who is claustrophobic? I was talking about heights earlier in this walkthrough, wasn't I? Like I have a healthy, fear of heights in some ways like yeah I'm not gonna be jumping out of no plane and you know hot air balloons and you know kind of like a little like eh. but you know I'm cool with certain things yeah I mentioned this but what about claustrophobia I think 
think I'm pretty cool, but like if I was in a, I mean, if you're in a situation like this where you're like, let's say you fall down a cave and you're lost, or like someone locks you in a cave and I don't know, you, you don't know anything, you don't know where you are, you don't know how to get out, yeah, I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna be a little nervous about that, a little panicked. Yeah, you know what doing things like that causes? Cave-ins, rocks will fall, more problems. I mean, if someone came up to me and said, hey Dave, I got this coffin right here. Uh, let's play a fun game. Why don't you get inside and I'm gonna close it and we'll see if you're afraid or not. I I'll say no for multiple reasons. I don't really feel like being in a coffin. Uh, especially while alive. I mean, really, it's just, it's a box and like, you know, like, oh, big deal. I don't know why that situation would ever arise in my life. Actors. If I was an actor, I suppose I would do it. Freezing in here. So, apparently it's cold in here. Pretty straightforward cave, I suppose. Am I being herded somewhere? It seems so, I mean, I was locked in. Is anybody down there? Hmm. Someone's been here. When was the last time I was in a cave? I don't know. Some kind of trip, you know. Sightseeing tours, stuff with groups. Ooh, look at these stalactites. Eh, I don't know. I've been in caves though, yeah. Not like in my like neighborhood kind of thing, like exploring in your neck of the woods kind of kind of deal. Yeah, not too many caves over in my section of Pennsylvania. Not to say there's no caves in Pennsylvania. Dude, Pittsburgh? Come on, man. If I'm being followed. Whew. Oh, it's breaking up. Is this good or bad? That's a question. Um, hmm, like over, oh, look at those two little splotches. You think? Maybe. I'm not getting out yet. Or am I? Okay, we can finally talk to Delilah. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. Uh, I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. The uh, power lines run right across here. Right across here. You'd think it would be accessible in a manner. Uh, oh, look. Well, ooh, well, I guess not on this end, huh? Where am I on the map? What am I looking out towards? That's a question. I. Eh. Yeah, over here with the power lines. Section of land. I don't think we'll ever be, you know, I don't think we'll ever have access really over there. Anyway, guys, that was kind of terrifying and creepy, and I don't think we're really out of this situation just yet. Maybe kind of a break in the gap, you know, through the eye of the storm. 
I will say things are really getting are, are just taking this really creepy kind of uh, kind of turn in this game, and I can't wait to find out what happens next. But before we find out, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on social media, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher. Ooh, I'm Dave the Usher for the game replay. She can see everything. Stay tuned for the next part of Firewatch. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.